What's up guys? Zach Hampel back here at Rogers Center for one more game and it's just a little quieter than it was yesterday. If you saw that video, it was a bobblehead giveaway. This place was packed. There were a zillion people over this way. If you see those steps, they were like, I mean this whole plaza was just filled up past that and at every gate there were hundreds if not thousands of people. So it was a struggle yesterday. Today, hoping it's a lot more chill, easier to catch baseballs during batting practice. And after that, I still have some more wandering and exploring to do with these new renovations. So should be a really great day. And here we go, back inside the Rogers Center for another day of batting practice. And I decided to spend this one in left field just for the sake of changing things up for the video. I don't think there's too much of a difference in terms of right versus left and how many balls you can catch, but variety, as they say, is the spice of life. So check this out. This dude is running and you can see me not even paying attention right there. And the frustration, I think I was distracted talking to some fans right before that. Shout out to Conehead, that's a fun jersey. And right here, just climbing down a few steps because I thought I might get a toss up. And sure enough, boom on the board. I think that one came from Adam Hazley, but I'll never be sure. Nearly wiped out the hair climbing back. I was looking for a little kid to give it to, and there really weren't any kids, but these guys said hello, and then one of the ladies, I think she was like, hey, my friend's birthday is today. Can you give her the ball? So I was like, yeah, sure. So, you know, just trying to spread the love. And here's a cool shot coming up next, because this baseball being pitched gets hit and rolls all the way out to the wall in left center. And you're gonna see me getting that toss up right there in the front row. White Sox coach Eddie Rodriguez with the hookup from the warning track. He's always been really cool with the fans. And speaking of cool people, this ball boy, I love him. He gave me a ball the previous day. And the next one that I get, which you're gonna see in just a moment, well, he tossed that up from below as well. And you can see right here how it played out. Props to the White Sox for putting on a great show today in batting practice. They were hitting some bombs into the seats and being generous with toss-ups as well. But unfortunately, after the gates opened, there were only two groups of hitters. So I didn't put up a huge total. I got three baseballs, which is definitely decent. I'll take it, but man, I wish I had managed to catch a home run on the fly, because that's always a lot of fun. But anyway, quickly, for right now, before I start wandering, I want to give a shout out to a website called mygameballs.com. You can see it up there on the screen. They're not paying me to say this. I'm doing it out of love, because this website is really great for the ball hawking community. It's basically like Facebook for ball hawks. As a collector, you can log all the baseballs you catch. I do it there. And it's a great way to connect with other baseball fans and collectors as well. And this website is running a contest where you can win 100 US dollars. It's free to join this site. And this contest is really easy to play. It's basically a survivor pool, which starts on June 2nd. And every week on mygameballs.com, the two guys who run the site, Bob and Richard, friends of mine, they're gonna post 10 major league games that are happening. You pick one game, you pick the winner of that game, and it's like an elimination type thing. So I'm gonna be playing, see if you can beat me. Again, free to join, you can win 100 bucks. Mygameballs.com, I love these guys, they live here in Canada, so just wanted to shout them out while I am here <clears throat> at Rogers Center. Sorry, I'm losing my voice because it's so noisy here. That's why I'm up in the concourse now and not down in the seats. But for right now, let's start wandering.
the stadium. Man, this entire area in the 500 level used to be dead real estate where nobody ever wanted to sit, but now it has officially become the place to be. And as I mentioned yesterday, these renovations are costing $300 million. But based on how things look up here and all the hype surrounding this team, I think the Jays are going to make that money back on food and alcohol sales before the All-Star break. And speaking of food, I happen to be very hungry right now, and this game happens to be underway. Here, I will pick up my phone and show you that there are, in fact, players out on the field. So I want to grab a quick bite and then get downstairs where I actually have a chance to catch a baseball. Yeah, so I was gonna get the uh, poutine hot dog, but the line for that was crazy. I didn't want to waste two innings. Uh, so the three cheese grilled cheese, baby. Here we are once again in the standing room area in right field next to the visitor's bullpen. I checked out this spot last night and I got it in the video and I thought it was so cool that I wanted to come back here and spend even more time. So right now we're in the sixth inning and it is all Blue Jays. They're on top six to nothing. And as you can see over my shoulder, not the greatest view of the field from the back here. And you know, there's a... Uh, Yes, it's Zach oh, Ample. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Yo, I gotta get a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hang on. I'm just talking uh, okay, to the people. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the situation here. It's pretty rowdy. It's pretty fun. Bullpen is right over that way. And uh, yeah, I'll try to film a little game action for you guys. Danny Jansen going yard right there in the bottom of the six, and then check this out. Right after that, a couple of friendly fans led me down to the front of the section and gave me their spot. And so that's where I am right now. And woohoo! Look at this. This is pretty sweet. So, uh, hi Jordan. Hello. We got him in the video again. Uh, I don't expect to catch a ball here, but at least I have a great view of the action. Here's my assessment on the standing room area. If you are planning to spend more than five minutes there during the game, you really need to show up early and claim a spot in the front, or hope you get lucky and meet someone friendly who gives you their spot. But it really is an amazing section. And you know what? 
This entire Blue Jays team is amazing. They won both of the games that I saw here on this trip, and tonight they didn't even allow a run. They beat Chicago 7 to nothing thanks to an outstanding pitching performance from starter Jose Berrios. He went seven innings, allowed just four singles, and struck out nine. And meanwhile, his battery mate Danny Jansen crushed two home runs, picked up four ribbies, and got a Gatorade bath courtesy of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That is how to close out the night. And as for me, well, it was a little easier today than yesterday. I got three baseballs during BP, all toss-ups, but I'll take it. I gave them all away, but all three count for the lifetime total. So that number is 12,093. So I am flying back home to New York City tomorrow, and the next videos after this, I think will be in Mexico City. The MLB series there, Padres versus Giants. So I gotta go, but one more thing. Remember to check out mygameballs.com. Check the description, I'll throw a link there. Amazing website, you can win some money. And that's it. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Woo, the big man is here with Zach and Fenway Chris. For my money, it just doesn't get any better than this.